Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to create content note in Salesforce and link it to a record. For this example, I am going to use Salesforce Apex. In order to create content note, we have to use content note entity. In the content note, we can set title and the content. In the content, it uh, uh, you can pass blob value. So I'm using blob dot value of a sample uh, string. Using this, I'm going to create a content document, uh, sorry, content note. Once this content note is created, in order to link it to a record, then we have to make use of content document link entity. In the content document link entity, we have two attributes to link it. One is content document ID. For this, pass the content note ID. And in the content document link linked entity ID, pass the record ID. Here, for example, I am hard coding my account ID. And then insert the content document link record. Once we uh, create this, the content node which was created in this uh, code will be linked to this record, which is hard coded ID here. If you have a requirement where we have a custom component and uh, gathering some nodes from the uh, users and have, once the nodes are captured from the custom component, if I wanted to store in Salesforce, then content uh, node is the right uh, entity. Using content node, we can capture all the nodes we captured from the users. Later, if we want to link those uh, records uh, to the person account or contact, uh, to relate it to it, then we can make use of this content document link entity. So here for this account, I have three nodes. This is the hard coded account ID in that Apex uh, code. So currently there are three nodes. Once this code is executed, it will create content note and then it will link that content note by creating this content document link. Yeah, my execution is done. So it created the content note for me. And then it is related to this account record. Please check the video description. I have shared my blog post. From the blog post, you should be able to get the sample code. Use the sample code as a reference and build as per your requirement. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.